Now for Hoops 8. Hey guys, the first Tuesday of the basketball season in Maine and a pretty good one to lead the way on this Hoops 8. We start in Brunswick. Ben Clark, first home game as head coach of the Dragons, taking over for Todd Hansen. Dragons looking like they'd go 2-0 and in the season as Quinn McCaffrey feeds Trevor Garrish at 14 to start the fourth. Here comes Greeley. They cut the deficit to four and then cut it to one on the Max Cloutier three. Three to play. Liam Gardner, one of 10 seniors, gives Greeley the lead. Brunswick responds. Ethan Driscoll, the sweet drive. Dragons up 61-60. Just over two to play. Andrew St. Hilaire to Cloutier. Rangers go up 62-61. Stays that way until the final seconds. McCaffrey for the win. No, and the two tips, no good. Greeley holds on for the big road win. Andrew St. Hilaire had 24 for the Rangers. City rivalry matchup, Deering and Chevris. Remy Joani working things from downtown. The quick release, he had 31. Rams up seven in the second. Here come the Stags. Seth Huntington showing off the range. He had 18. And Gio Sinonge hits the floater on the fast break. He had 13. Anthony Cloutier driving, gets the tough hoop. It was tied at the half, and Chevris a big win in overtime, 73-72. Bon Eagle and Portland both looking for their first win of the season. Bulldogs running the break. Juani Donato ahead of the pack for the deuce. He had 18. In the fourth, Jesse Camus dishes to Piccia. Donato and the Bulldogs are trying to pull away. Scott stick around. Aiden Walcott, the nice finish. He had 13. But the Bulldogs out running again. Donato to Camus for the layup. 45-41 Portland with a win. Thornton Academy hosting Scarborough down in Saco. Michael McClear pulls up, fills it up. Then Brayden Kamiri pushes it to Michael Bennett. Thornton Academy with a big win in this one, 58-28 over Scarborough. South Portland and Wyndham both trying to go 2-0 on the year. Sonny Elder in the corner, quick release, nails it. The three for the Eagles. But South Portland goes on a run. J.P. Estrella from the corner. The friendly bounce for three. Then Jalen Jackson, same kind of bounce from deep. He hits the three. He had 16 for the Red Riots. Their big three getting it going. Oh, Maloney, another three. He had 10. 62-39 South Portland with the victory. All right, Class B action or BC showdown. Cape Elizabeth hosting Wayne Fleet. Owen Ty in transition. Waits for Will Bovey who sidesteps the D for the hoop. 74-55 Cape Bovey had 19 in the win. Poland coming off a heartbreaker on opening night at North Yarmouth Academy. Knights took a 9-0 lead before the Panthers start going. That's a nice. That's Cal nice, the lay-in. But Hayden Christner was feeling it. The baseline jumper, then the three. 72-68 Poland with the victory, their first of the year. All right, elsewhere in boys hoops, John Shea of Edward Little had 44, tying a school record in an Eddie's win over Hamden Academy. Girls action, we had Gorham taking on Sanford. Nicole Walker working the offensive glass for Gorham, giving it off to Ellie Gray. She had game high 17. Other way, Riley Hebler with the deep three. Sanford kept it close for a half, but Gorham pulls away 48-27. South Portland hosting Wyndham. Red Riots down six in the third. Ava Bryant with the sweet spin move. They would pull within one. Wyndham responds. Abby Thornton, the nice give to Sarah Talon, and no one's going to stop her at the rim. And then Talon working from the top of the key, the nasty crossover. 54-43, Wyndham gets his first win. Talon had 23. Deering hosting city rival Chevris. Stags open the game on a run. Lillian Singleton from downtown. Trey Viem, she had nine. Then on the break, Singleton inside to Maddie Fitzpatrick. She led the way with 17, 11-0 Chevris run here. Sophie Hill would get Deering on the board with a short J, but Chevris had too much. Maeve Kelly with the layup, 62-20. to Chevris, impressive win. All right, good one in Scarborough. Red Storm hosting Thornton Academy. 36-36, two to play. Jessica Dow, yeah, she doesn't want the two. She wants the three. She steps back and hits it. Thornton up three. At the other end of the floor, Caroline Hartley. Wants to go one on one. She finishes. Red Storm down one. Final seconds. TA up 43 40. A chance to go up four. Missed the free throw. Elizabeth Lefevre the board to Emerson Flaker who pushes. And with time winding down, the shot to tie it and send it to overtime is off. Thornton Academy with the road win 43 40 over Scarborough. The Portland girls hosting Bonnie Eagle this evening. The Scots go on a big run in the first quarter. Ember Hastings driving for the hoop and the foul. Then the Scots go inside. Caitlin Bartash with the basket. Scott scored the first 14 in the game. End of the first. Ainsley McCrum beat the buzzer and gets fouled. 
but it wasn't enough for Portland. 41-26, Bon Eagle with the win. Edward Little paying a visit to Hamden Academy. Red Eddies down big, but not going away. Aaron Cowie finds Jenny Chaput for two. And then on the glass, Chaput finishes inside. Hamden, too much firepower in this one. Taylor Gardner, the three. Broncos crew, 69-26. All right, Falmouth girls playing their home opener against Kenny Bunk. Sloan Ginovin, one of the most dangerous players in the region, driving the pull up. Falmouth up 20 to 3 in the first. Then Anna Turjan finds Katie Lozaritis inside for the hoop. Ginovin then comes up the court, the steal, and she's going to finish. She had 27 points, six steals, and four assists. Anna Turjan added 14 as Falmouth gets the win. All right, Greeley hosting Brunswick, a good one here. Rangers down 14 in the third. Asia Kelman tries to lead a comeback, hits the three. The Dragons would stop any comeback attempt, though, from there. Kelsey Carlton drives for two. And then Logan Brown, the drive, she hits the jumper. And Alexis Morin comes up with a steal, finishing ahead of the pack. Brunswick, a road win, 54-40 over the Rangers. Westbrook hosting Freiburg Academy. The Blue Blazes out early, getting it inside. Leah Cromarty shows off the post move. She had 11. Other way, Sydney Shaw inside to Brooke Emery. She had a game high 20 in Freiburg with a road win, 50 to 37. Wayne Fleet welcoming, welcoming Cape Elizabeth to Portland. Emily Supple working inside off the left-handed drive for two. She finished with 10. Other way, Jessica Connors spots up, drains the three for the Flyers. But Olivia Manning answers for Cape. She had 12 points and 22 rebounds. Cape Elizabeth gets its first win, 36-19. Moving to Brewer. The Witch Project taking on Messalonski. Rough start for both sides. Riley Umo, though, gets some Brewer magic going. Hits the three, and Brewer handles Messalonski 45 to 31 tonight. And a flashback to a seventh grade game. Seventh graders usually don't make hoops eight, but how about this? This right here, Tanner Tufts of Wells, a seventh grader hitting this bomb of a shot at the buzzer, as Wells playing Lincoln Middle School. And nice shot there. The baseball pass. That right there is Hoops 8. You can check it out again on WMTW.com. More total coverage is back after this.